Welcome to another video from Gui Lao Safety. Today we're on Chongming Island in Shanghai at a Sturgeon Nature Reserve. Actually it's 696 square kilometers of Sturgeon Nature Reserve. This is where uh, they have a sturgeon nursery to help the stock of sturgeon in China rebound because they are on the critical list right now. Uh, and what's the critical list? There's only one more designation before the last designation, and that's extinction. And this nature reserve here is here to make sure that doesn't happen. And you're probably all wondering, how did they get on that extinction list? How did they become so critically endangered? Well, humans. Humans are to blame for it because 140 million years ago there were no humans running around building dams. Synthetic chemicals are to blame for about 7.5% of the deformities in, in the fish. Uh, and, then, and then there's the dams. Uh, every time they set up a dam, you see, these, these fish would go 2,000 kilometers up the Yangtze River to spawn. Then they put a dam in there. Think of a fish that's, that's gone up this Yangtze River a couple times to spawn, and then the third time it goes up there, there's, there's a concrete wall in its place. Now what do I do? They did find other piece of places to spawn, but still, it, it, the, the dams cut down the population, in the, the first dam that they put up, cut down the population 75%. They could have put in a fish run beside so they could get up upstream. Uh, but then they put in another one, the Three Gorges Dam, then they put in another one. So every time they put in a dam, it, it uh, lessens the population of the Chinese sturgeon because they need to go up. They live in the ocean, they come back, and they spawn in fresh water. Okay, well, that's why places like this exist. But it's not only that. When the dams release water, these guys are very susceptible to temperature change. To spawn, it's got to be the right temperature. They got to be in the right mood, guys. So uh, when they when they release deep water, it gets cool. Or when they release uh, top water, it gets hot. It just it, it has to be perfect for them to spawn. So that adds to it. So you got synthetic chemicals. You've got dam after dam after dam and then you've got ten temperature fluctuations that really screw with these guys they're not used to it sure they've been around for 140 million years but now they're on the critically endangered species list so they're, they're actually classified the same as a panda here in mainland China uh, they're on that same list they're protected as much these, this is actually the national fish of China the Chinese sturgeon these are basically dinosaurs, swimming dinosaurs. 140 million years ago, they were on the earth. That's back when the dinosaurs were walking around. And each time, each time these, uh, these fish spawn, the females have up to a million eggs per female who spawn. But the problem is that less than 1% of those actually make it. So that's where places like this, uh, sturgeon sanctuaries, uh, nurseries are so important. And you think these guys are big. In the wild, and the Chinese sturgeon is one of the largest uh, groups of sturgeon in the world. It can get 1,100 pounds, 16 feet long. Seriously, these guys can get 16 feet long and 1,100 pounds like a freaking shark and they actually have the head of a shark like I'm gonna be putting some b-roll in throughout this uh, but they, they actually do look like a shark with a with the mouth underneath but no teeth well or just little small teeth they're not chewing or grabbing anything they have to eat their their fish whole they just swallow it whole that's the big guy the little ones out in the wild they just eat insects and little little bugs and stuff like that that's what they survive on so they don't actually release small fries into the wild here in China like we do in Canada. Uh, they release them when they're about a meter big. Like, yeah, like a meter big. Uh, they do release some that are uh, 20 centimeters, not very many. And, uh, you know, the, the, the juveniles, uh, a year old, they, they release a little bit bigger than that. But I would think that they would release a whole bunch of these small fries and they would either make it or break it in the wild. 
that's not the that's not the way they do things here that's really weird and as you can see when I when I come into this room here it's colder yeah they like cooler water see this is this is where they've got the juveniles and what I mean by juveniles is they're pretty big fish you know what I mean they're not, they're not the full-fledged adults and uh, I would imagine over in these smaller pens is, is uh, where they have the babies, the little guys. It is highly illegal in China to fish, catch, or eat a wild Chinese sturgeon. You will go to jail if you're caught. So let's get out of the building for a bit out in the sunshine. Gotta love that, guys. So this nature reserve is 696 square kilometers on the east side of Chongming Island in Shanghai. It, it was actually put here to save the Chinese sturgeon. They knew they had a problem uh, after they set up the first dam in the 1980s. Uh, the sturgeon population started to decline and decline big big time. Uh, then when they put up the Three Gorges Dam and then when they put up another dam, it just all, you know, it was it was devastating the sturgeon population. When they said that I was coming to a sturgeon nursery, I got all giddy inside. See, uh, when I was a kid, well even a young adult, uh, not old like I am now, uh, I was, we, we lived in Welton, Saskatchewan. And just north of Weldon is the North Saskatchewan River, actually the forks where the North and the South Saskatchewan River meet. At the forks we would go pickerel fishing, walleye fishing, and every once in a while you pull in a sturgeon. The sturgeon are different there, but uh, we do catch and release the sturgeon because it's illegal in Canada to actually catch sturgeon there too. But the idea that you caught a dinosaur, like seriously, as a kid it was like, holy smokes, what is that? It scares you. you know, actually a kid, on the North Saskatchewan River in Saskatchewan caught an 800 pound sturgeon. A 13 year old kid caught an 800 pound sturgeon. They get that big. These ones get even bigger. So, you know, the idea of anything to do with fishing or fish or whatever, I'm a Canadian. We, we sort of get off on that stuff just for the fact that it, it's sort of like a national pastime. In the summertime, we go fishing in boats. In the wintertime, we dig a hole in the ice and we sit out in the cold weather we're jigging through a hole in the ice to catch fish. It's one of those things. It's a national pastime for Canadians. So anything to do with fish, anything to do with uh, fish nursery sanctuaries, uh, helping fish population in, in anywhere around the world, in China especially at this time, is really interesting to somebody like me. If you look at the sturgeon, they've got a little mustache. And, and uh, because sturgeon are actually bottom feeders, uh, they will swallow just about anything that moves, but uh, they don't chew. They've got this, this mustache, sort of like a catfish in a way, because a catfish is a bottom feeder also. And uh, as they cruise along the bottom, the mustache will feel for, for things that actually move around. And uh, if, they see, if they feel something, not see it, because their eyes are so, so small. And in some of these pictures, you can see it. Uh, but so their eyesight isn't very good. So as, as something touches their, their little mustache and moves, they open their mouth, scoop it. That's why their mouth is underneath the body. Um, you know, so they sort of scoop things up off the bottom. Uh, crayfish, crab, small fish, you know, anything that actually moves. This is the diet. They're, they're actually a predator. But that doesn't mean you have to be scared of them. Uh, they're gentle giants. They only eat little fish. And uh, if a human being was in the water with a uh, hundred sturgeon that were six meters big, you would be as safe as sitting in your living room uh, eating popcorn and drinking an ice cold Qingdao beer. So that's another video from Guilao 60 at a sturgeon sanctuary here in Shanghai on Chongming Island. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to make a comment in the comment section if you find this interesting. Uh, and uh, whatever you do, hit the bell, like button, you know it. And uh, whatever you do, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Until next time, bye now. Peace out.